Hey everyone. Yeah, CBC, <laughs> no matter what the incident, no matter what the story, you can almost depend and rely on the fact they're going to try to find a way. If there's an incident involved where they can put political spin or an anti-male right-winger spin on the story, <laughs> they're more than willing to do so. And we're seeing that time and time again. And this is just the latest example. This is a headline article of the CBC News Canada, Fifth Estate. Why incels are a real and present threat for Canadians. Increase in violence has criminologists sound an alarm. January 27, 2019. This story contains graphic content. It all began with a Facebook post on January 19, 2019. A Colorado man named Christopher Cleary took to social media and laid out the plan for an attack that was coming together in his mind. I'm 27 years old and I've never had a girlfriend before and I'm still a virgin, Cleary wrote. This is why I'm planning on shooting up a public place soon and being the next mass shooter. Well, first of all, the headline of this is why incels are a real and present threat for Canadians. And the very first incident or example that they use is a Colorado man. I thought we were talking about Canadian context here. Why start an article regarding Canadian context using an American example? I suppose it's probably because they don't have enough examples of Canadians that they can use. So this, I suppose they expect will lend more credibility to the kind of rhetoric that they try to espouse. In this case, police tracked him down en route to a woman's march in Utah before he was able to carry out his plan. But it doesn't always work out that way when men who identify themselves as incels or involuntary celibates post such thoughts online. In April 2018, Alec Mensayan allegedly drove a van into pedestrians in Toronto, killing 10 and injuring 16 others. Before the attack, a post appeared on Menasian's Facebook account that said, the incel rebellion has already begun. So we're hearing that one, finally we're hearing that one example in Canada where you can say it was a man, right? And it was someone that I guess he identified as being one of these incels. But wait till you hear how they're trying to paint this. This isn't just an individual. Now, if they were just dealing with these particular examples or these stories based on the individuals involved and not trying to use political language, then I think we should all be concerned about what's happening. But that's not what happens in this article. And you'll find that out as I read on. Involuntary celibates or incels are an online brotherhood of men who say they are unsuccessful in their romantic attempts with women. Incels interact in forums online like 4chan, Reddit, and a few public incel boards, and even on popular social media platforms including Facebook and YouTube. They often express extreme feelings of misogyny and hatred. In the worst cases, their online misogyny turns to violent fantasies where many online encourage rape, violence, and in some cases killing. Experts interviewed by the Fifth Estate have identified 120 instances of extreme violence in Canada by right-wing groups, including incels, in the past 30 years. This is compared to only seven by Islamist-inspired extremists. Now, I'm just going to continue reading this last few sentences, the subsequent following sentences, just to make sure that, no, I'm not leaving anything out, folks. They're not, they're not painting any of these people as being left-leaning at all. Authorities in Canada and the U.S. are often quick to call these incidents lone wolf attacks, but criminologists and sociologists are sounding the alarm on incels and other growing internet subcultures that promote extreme violence. They say the threat posed by these groups isn't being taken seriously enough. So no, back up, like I say. So experts interviewed by the Fifth Estate have identified 120 incidents of extreme violence in Canada by right-wing groups, including incels. Well, first of all, if it's an incel, that's an individual. Are there groups of these people that are now propagating violence in Canada? Because I haven't been privy to those stories. <laughs> Think about it. I'm the kind of person that pays attention to the news every day, meticulously. But yet they're saying, in contrast, that this is compared to only seven by Islamist-inspired extremists. Well, first of all, Islamist-inspired extremists, that's, that is a fairly new phenomenon, at least within the last 10, 15 years, right? Even if you use the pretense of, of foreign wars of aggression by Western countries, yet yeah, that's a fairly new thing. You know, it's obviously not the same as people that identify in, uh, of any particular stripe or background in a domestic country. So why would they try to correlate this or associate this? Well, you know why they're doing it, right? They're basically, this whole thing is political propaganda and an error to suggest that all these people, and that's what they're alluding to right here, is the 
the overwhelming, obviously, the overwhelming majority of these people must be all right wingers, right? Which is basically to suggest that you should stereotype and collectivize anyone who identifies as right winger as what? An incel? And that's another thing. An incel is these people that, like I say, involuntary celibacy. Right wingers. Think about what even the media puts forth and presents is considered the typical right winger, like a conservative, right? So someone that's, you know, more about business, being an entrepreneur, success, capitalism, right? Making money, the 1%. But yeah, these people, I guess, these are the people that I guess the CBC is suggesting. These are the kind of people that would identify as incels. That they just can't get laid. Because, you know, your typical white male wearing his $5,000 pinch suit, the typical entrepreneur, the right winger, the big business guy, the 1%er, yeah, they just, yeah, you know, they just, I guess they lack capacity or ability to get laid, right? Okay. Like I say, think about what the left represents. The people that are oppressed, the people that are clamoring for somebody to help them. They need their authoritarian mommy or daddy to help them or protect them from those bad, evil oppressors. The people that usually, the oppressors are usually the right wingers. So the left has always seemed to be perceived, even by those in the media, as pure helpless victims. They need the government to help them. That sounds like the mind of an incel. That sounds like someone that, that feels like they're unworthy and they need help. Or that they're vengeful, petty, vindictive, <laughs> using emotions as a means to lash out in society because they just can't get laid. That sounds very much from that leftist perspective, that leftist collective psychology. And once again, that's even something that the established media, those who propagate the leftist narrative, that's, that's a, see, this is the problem where you, you, you leftists, this is where you're going to have the biggest problem is the, the more you kind of constantly put forth and present the narrative that oh the people on the left are just a bunch of helpless victims <laughs> being oppressed by everyone else well you see how that doesn't work right now you're trying to use that now the people have this understanding that you've jammed in their head that the left are the representation of the weak the meek right the oppressed and now you're trying to suggest that these incels that actually fit that equation almost entirely or perfectly but yet they're right wingers Anyways, I'm not going to read any more of this article. It's just, like I said, it's just more political propaganda. I'll post a link to it in the description of the video below. But, I mean, come on, folks. These incels, they're right-wingers. Once again, the left is so out of touch with reality. That, that's the thing with using political propaganda. Where they should at least be keeping some kind of book. Like, that's the thing. I guess that's where the left, like, they're not very good at doing things, like, in, in that constructive manner. They're just more about the free flow. So, But really, if they were wise, they'd be writing down, okay, I, I put forth this kind of narrative. I better, I better try to keep that in mind for the next article I put out there so I'm not contradicting myself on a regular and ongoing basis. But like I say, that would require a whole lot of work and effort, I suppose. Once again, the people that like to identify as being on the left, that they need big government, socialism, communism, forced income and wealth redistribution, or big thwart there and mommy or daddy take care of them, you say, it seems like a whole lot of work for them. So they're like, no, nah, nah, that's that's way too much. I need someone else to take care or do things for me. Like I say, all of this sounds a whole lot more like they're projecting, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my takeaway from it anyways. If you want, leave your thoughts in the video comments below because yeah, like I say, that I don't know, uh, I don't know how they could even try to suggest that the incels are people that would identify predominantly as right-wingers, right? I don't get that. Hey, maybe you know something that I don't. Like I say, share your thoughts in the comment section below. It's Canadian Libertarian, and I love liberty.